You are about to learn what it's like having the coronavirus and living in quarantine. Our next guest, Mark Jorgensen, and his wife were on the Diamond Princess cruise ship in Japan, where their vacation turned, as we all know, into a nightmare because we covered it. Uh, the ship was quarantined for two weeks, days of it. A total of 705 people ended up testing positive for COVID-19 out of the nearly 4,000 people on board. His wife was kept in Japan until she tested negative, while Mark was allowed to fly back to the United States and quarantined in Utah and was eventually sent home, even though his tests still now show positive. Mark Jurgensen joins me now. Mark, first of all, how are you feeling? I feel just fine. How is your wife? She's doing okay, too. She's uh, hasn't had any symptoms since the quarantine, and she's doing very well. And she was sick enough for them at one point, I should tell our viewers, for her to be taken off the Diamond Princess and put in a hospital in Japan. Tell me how this started, and, and you can start with just when you started to see symptoms. Well, we really didn't see symptoms until we were tested. We were tested because they considered me high risk. I've had, I'm a kidney transplant patient. And so they, during the quarantine, they came to our room and tested us. And then the next night, my wife started to have a little bit of a high fever and didn't feel really well. But by the next morning, that was gone. But they came and, and told us she was positive and took her to the hospital where she, where she spent two weeks and mostly felt fine while she was there. Were you able to get off the ship as well and go see your wife in Japan? I did not see her in Japan. Two mm. days after they took her is when they took that big group on those planes. And so I, I evacuated with that group. And we went to Travis Air Force Base, and, I, and that's where I tested positive. How Was it your decision to get off the ship and, and go home? Was it hard to leave her behind? It kind of was, yeah. We talked about it. She and I talked about it because but then we realized even if I'd stayed in Japan, I wouldn't be able to be with her. We'd still be communicating by phone or Skype or whatever. And so uh, we decided it was best if I at least got back in the state where, where I could, uh, you know, take care of myself and take care of everything else. And you're still in quarantine at this point because you're still testing positive, right? I am still testing positive. I, I tested positive at Travis and then I went to a couple hospitals in California and then transferred me to Salt Lake was in a hospital there for about a week, and then they were able to work out where I could do a home quarantine. And that's where I've been for the past eight, nine days. And they come twice a week and test me then. I've got actually got a test scheduled for this afternoon and uh, still positive so far. Uh, now, when you say you were in the hospital, did you eventually show symptoms too? And how sick were you? I didn't. I never showed any symptoms wow. at all. I test po tested positive, you know, continuously through the whole process. Why did they hospitalize you? Symptoms. Because I was, well, they wanted to quarantine me. That was, you know, in the early days when anyone who had it was immediately uh, taken away from others and quarantined mm -hmm. to, to keep from spreading. And that's where mm -hmm. I was. Uh, I know that you and your wife cannot be near each other. So we should tell our viewers that you are social distancing inside your home, which is why we don't see her standing right next to you. I wish you Correct. both the best, Mark. I hope that you get a negative today in your testing for coronavirus. God bless you, and thank you for your time thank and you. sharing your story. Hey, thanks for having me, Harris. Absolutely. Boy, glad they're home. Uh, the first clinical trial for a potential coronavirus vaccine reportedly is getting underway today. However, the Surgeon General warns it won't be an instant fix as the number of cases here and around the globe continues to climb. We'll break it all down next and bring back the doctors, of course.